Okay, so you guys went ahead and I seen all the swatch, not all the swatches, but you guys seen some swatches from all the palettes. I obviously only swatched a little bit, but my initial thoughts on just swatching them on my arm, the mattes weren't as pigmented and they were kind of patchy on some of them. Shimmers were like amazing. But now we're going to go ahead and apply them to the eye to see how they work out and see how they blend out on the eye. So for the look that we're going to be achieving today, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ring the Alarm palette, which is the more of the maroon kind of colors. So I'm going to start off by taking this shade right here, which is called the Rush, as my transition shade. This is more like of an orange kind of color. Um, okay. So this is what it looks like on the brush. Oh, wow. Okay, so that, you see what I mean? Like, on the eye, it's swatching differently and really, really pigmented. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just put this shadow into the crease as an overall transition color. So, so far, they're blending out really, really nicely. I'm not having really, like, any difficulty blending it out. So that was just with one pretty much layer of that color. I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the other eye. Okay, so this was the color brush. As you guys can see, it's really honestly pigmented compared to how it's swatched. I'm not sure if I swatched this one. I don't think so. But really, really pigmented. It did blend out fairly, fairly easily. And now moving on to the next shade. I'm going to go ahead and take... I'm going to take Alert, and this one I did swatch this one was more of the kind of burnt orangey color looks like that again gonna do the same thing okay see if you guys remember how it swatched on my arm it's swatching completely different on my eye way more pigmented again like i did mention in the beginning there were some people saying that they did get good palettes some people were saying that they got really bad palettes um i'm not sure what happened but from the people that did get the good palettes, they were saying they were incredible, they were pigmented. And honestly, I think I got one of the good ones, thank God, because it, they actually, they're blending out pretty nicely and they're really, really pigmented as well. And again, I'm going to try to use as many um, colors in this palette as possible just to give you guys my, my true, honest thoughts. I actually got so lucky that I got the actual Walk Collection. Because if you guys follow Jaclyn Hill on Snapchat, she did mention when her brush collection comes out that the vault, it wasn't going to be no longer in like the set. They were only going to be sold individually. So I think I got it at like the perfect time. Okay, so I went ahead and I applied. I didn't know my voice recording thing was off. So I went ahead and I applied Mugshot to the center of my eye and I'm just now blending it out. And I really do hope that the camera is picking up the intensity of the colors because they're honestly blending out really nicely and the intensity is really really nice and really really pigmented as well so then now I'm gonna go in with framed this one's like more of a maroon kind of color so this one is picking up really really nicely on the brush I'm gonna first focus it on the outer corner. Oh yeah, so you, can you guys see how pigmented that was right here? Okay, and then I'm just gonna start to slowly take that into the crease. Oh yeah, this one is really, really pretty and it's really pigmented as well. So first I'm just kind of tapping it into the crease just to get as much as the color as we can. Okay, and then just gonna wipe off my brush and then just do little circular motions to try to blend it out. Okay, so now we're looking really intense and really blown out. Okay, so for... I wanted to do like a shimmer shade on my lid. I don't know if I should do a shimmer shade. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and do a shimmer shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply Siren, which is like a kind of deep 
maroon kind of color shimmer of course looks like that i'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my eye first without wetting the brush and then i'm gonna go ahead and wet the brush so okay so it did go on pretty pretty pigmented i did get fallout right here when i applied that color but now i'm gonna go ahead and get more and then i'm gonna wet the brush And then see if it applies more intense. Okay, so it did apply a little bit more intense, but honestly, whenever you wet shadows, they're obviously going to, you know, go on more intensely. So. And when you wet the brush, it applies it more like of a metallic kind of color. And then I'm just going to take that lash brush that we use just to kind of mesh the two together. So now for the bottom lash line, um, I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to take this brush from Beach Cosmetics. I'm going to take the shade Secret, which is, this is the darkest brown in the palette. Okay. So it doesn't look super dark on the eye, which is a, is a good thing but still very pigmented. And then now I'm gonna go in with Mugshot. I'm gonna take a like pointed brush. I'm gonna take this small pointed brush and I'm going to take on camera, which is like a gold kind of bronze shade. Again, I'm going to spray my brush with Fix Plus. And then I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. Just kind of... Oh, this one's really, really nice. Can you guys see that? That is super, super pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes off of camera. And then I'll be back to give you guys my full thoughts on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe vault collection okay so this is the completed look i applied the lashes and honestly i am honestly obsessed with the palette as you guys can see the shadows are really really pigmented they blend it out super nicely really intense again like i did mention these swatches on my arm did swatch obviously completely different than they do in the eye if we're being honest we don't swatch and we don't wear eyeshadows on our arm we actually wear them on our eyes so for the people out there that were saying kind of like that they were swatching bad on the arm honestly you can't really go off base of arm swatches again because we swatch them on the eye and we wear them on our eyes. So my thoughts, I loved it. Um, obviously, I do have to try the other three palettes. So I'm going to do different looks on the different, the three different palettes. Um, so I really do recommend the Bling Boss palette. Again, I'm not going to say that I recommend the whole thing because I haven't swatched out the other ones. But yeah, those were my final thoughts on the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. So if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have tried it out already and you guys have different opinions than mine, I want to hear your guys' opinions, so feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys head out today. I'm almost at 200 subscribers and I know we can do this. Come on, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys are notified every single time I upload a new video. And that's all I have to say, and I will see you guys on the next one.